Growing up, my mother was an alcoholic, actually. She passed away when I was seven years old. And from the age of seven to 14, I lived with my father and my two younger sisters. And as I got older, my father just became more neglectful and, and distant and eventually gave up custodial rights when I was 14. At that point, my sisters and I entered the foster care system. Eventually, we all ended up at Florida Baptist Children's Home. I was in survival mode. Uh, I was worried about my sisters at the time. I was just looking for a safe place where I could live my life. My world was chaotic and confusing and constantly in transition. Um, I came from a broken home. I was trying to figure out who I was as a person and what my life was going to look like down the road. And at that time, I did not know the Lord. I was basically on my own in the world. When I was at FBCH, uh, I just was given the opportunity to thrive and flourish because I didn't have to worry about safety or where my next living location was going to be. I was able to focus on school and participate in extracurricular activities. And as a result, I graduated second in my class and I won the Bill Gates scholarship and went off to college. And during that time, I came back and tutored some of the kids and taught them how to apply for college and financial aid and some of those skills that you don't really think about, uh, which your parents would normally teach you or your support system, but kids who are in foster care are lacking. And so I'd like to think that it helped those kids to transition into successful adulthood. Without Florida Baptist Children's Home, I don't know if I would have heard the gospel message. Um, it was because of the ministries of uh, Florida Baptist Children's Home and One More Child that I was able to attend an event where I heard the gospel preached for the very first time. And I, I saw inter interacting with people and, and just being ministered to by the staff here what it looked like to be in a Christian home. And that has made all the difference. You might be asking yourself, how can I give back? How can I help support the ministries of Florida Baptist Children's Home and One More Child? How can I help a child like Desiree who went through similar situations? And I would say to you, be constant in prayer if you're able to, give financially and also disciple those children who are in your own churches right now and reflect God's love to them.